All right, everyone, welcome back to the world of Icarus. Today, I want to show you the work that I've been doing. I, I, I jumped in for a little bit, and I planned on just kind of doing some housekeeping, just maybe making a little modifications here and there. And I may or may not have gone completely overboard. And uh, let me show you what I mean by that. All right, let me get out of my chair here and show you kind of what I'm talking about. First off, I decided to add this glass roof, the angled glass roof, and then a glass wall over here. I'm thinking about putting some kind of backing on this and something on the side here to kind of close it in. Maybe some more glass. I'm not certain. And I'm also not certain I love this just yet. We'll take a look at it here in a second from down below. And it is nighttime right now, and that's because a lot of the stuff that I added kind of looks better at night. Um, this light we've had here, so I'm not really concerned about that right now. But if we go down here... Number one, we've got some fish back. Last episode, we lost the fish. Don't ask me how. I think it's because at one point, I lost the electricity and or water to that and the fish died. But we've got a couple back. I'm gonna try my best to not repeat what happened to the last ones. But if we go over here, we've got a nice little gold cluster lamp. And then I forgot we also have one over here. I just realized that they actually light up. So they create a little bit of ambient lighting of different colors. I didn't realize that they lit up until about two seconds ago, and I think they look kind of nice. And then if I go out here, you'll see some more changes that we made. Number one, I put some glass pieces over top the uh, the porch here, and then I also extended out the porch, and then I made some changes. Okay, I've made so many changes. I told you, I went completely overboard. For example, I'll, I'll get back to this in a second, but the dock here, I've upgraded to aluminum. I put some railings on, the concrete railings, I added a couple benches out here and even some kind of tiki torches. I'm going to turn these on for the first time. I haven't seen how they look and you know what? Looks kind of nice. We, we can do some night fishing or we can just enjoy this scene out here. And then I've got my little tackle box out here too for when we want to do some fishing. I think we can throw some fish in here as well as store a few lures. So that's pretty neat. And then I put the glass over top because I don't know, I kind of like it. I tried extending a few pieces out towards this area too over top and I wasn't a huge fan but you know what I think it looks okay like that and then I actually modified the bridge here too now before it was underwater I raised it up a little bit lined it up completely with the stairs here so we have a nice kind of smooth walk up and we're no longer running in water but I think I would like to upgrade this to not concrete but at least stone at some point um, and then of course I did add this little light out here too so if we look out here at kind of a distance, this whole thing kind of comes together. I actually really like the glass overhang. Um, I did kind of want to put like one of the angled pieces, but it doesn't really wrap around very well. And the angled pieces kind of go halfway into the windows up there, so it, it doesn't look all that great. But there is some new building pieces that we can work with, so I might do some experimenting with that today. And it's just thinking I'm missing a wooden beam right here so let me put that in and yeah they don't wrap all the way around i need to add some more i don't have enough on me right now but for now that's just gonna have to do and then i also i changed the bridge over here too to make a nice smooth drop right from the porch that we have wrapped around and uh yeah i think it looks kind of nice it all kind of came together and then of course we've got the massive workshop right now and i can't remember i, I think i had the light on before but we're going to go in here, and uh, I've even made a little bit of changes in here, too. First off, I did add a light, a wall light, I should say, on either side of this area over here. Just because it, it was so dark after I added just the one light up here. There's a lot of shadows that got cast, and so that kind of lights up the place a little bit, and I think it looks pretty nice. And then if I go out here, what I ended up adding is, I can't remember if I showed this off before. We do have the contact device. And then we do have the orbital exchange interface. And now before I go any further, something that I crafted up a couple episodes ago, but I never showed off because it turns out it was completely useless at the time, was this infrasonic relay upgrade. So I'm going to grab that. We're going to bring it out here really quick and see if we can place it. Can we place. Oh, wait, no, we have to put it in the contact device. So we just drop it in here and oh my goodness, that does a massive upgrade to this. And so now what we can do, is if we go to operations, we can now do these different operations within the sticks region. Before we could not do this, this is brand new. So now we've got some more options. I think, 
at some point, if we go back, I think if we eventually make the encrypted satellite upgrade, we might be able to do more. I'm not sure, but right now we can at least do this one. And this is a clear path to a new region, which I assume is probably going to be blowing open another mountainside so that we can have another big shortcut in this world. And just looking around a little bit, it does look like, yes, we would need the encrypted satellite upgrade in order to do some of these missions. This one's worth 500 credits, which I actually found out were called Ren. So that I guess is what the yellow currency is. And then the purple is the exotics. But all right, I had to just sleep through the night so we can get some daytime. And I think one of the first things that we're gonna do is try one of these new missions. Well, operations technically. So let's head back over here and uh, let's check it out. I think we kind of have to do just the first one. I don't think there's any other ones we can do, but it does look like there are some. There's the Ricochet Expedition, which is clear path to a new region. The Zephyr Expedition, which is clear path to a new region. I think that's what the theme is. We have to clear paths before we can do the rest of the operations. So I guess let's start this one. All right, where's that dropping on the... Oh, it's right over here. Okay, I thought that was going to be on the other side of the mountain. <laughs> Let's go check it out here and uh, see what we're working with. And before we really start this mission, I'm definitely going to have to do some repairs on my tools and weapons. And I have to make a bunch more ammo because I'm actually getting pretty low with my hunting rifle. Okay, let's grab that. Get the heck out of here. Okay, so we have to open the escape menu and request a mission's resupply if your mission equipment is lost. Oh, okay, that's just optional. Um, but we have to scan edge of the river region. Okay, so it looks like there is going to be some travel involved here. We have one, two, three different regions that I can see so far. Yeah, it's just those three. But they're all the way down on the south side in all the different biomes. So it looks like we're going to be trying to scan in each of those regions, I would assume. So before we go do that, like I said, let's kind of do some resupplying here. Um, I'm not sure how much I've got in terms of gunpowder. Uh, currently I think zero. We can make 68 though. And I did make a whole sulfur box, but I'm pretty sure it's empty now. <laughs> yes, it is. It was like half full at one point. Oh, and then one thing that I forgot completely to mention before is that obviously I've changed up some of the, I guess, walls. I added a little bit of accents to them by just doing the regular thatch walls. And I thought that added kind of a more nature-like look to it. I would love to do it a little bit more like on the side walls over here. But since they go to the outside, you only see kind of the ugly inner part of the thatch holes like this. All right, let's cook up as much rifle rounds as we can. We can make 34. And that should be done here in a couple seconds. And then I did grab some antibiotic pills and tonics. I, I don't think we'll need it. And I'm not sure if I should actually bring... I think I'm only going to bring one uh, over the other just because it's... I don't need to take up extra spaces in my suit. But let me grab these rifle rounds here. And we're going to have to wait out this storm, too. It's going to be a thunderstorm. And then what do I need in order to repair my rifle before we go? I want to say we're going to need, like, titanium ingots. Let me grab one of those. And let's head out over here to our massive forge. Uh, no, we can't do it in the forge. Looks like we have to do it in the machining bench. Is that right? And I think we should be good on the rest. I don't, I'm not too worried about the rest of our tools. For the most part, we're just going to have to be fending off different enemies, I think. And now, since we have to wait out this storm, what I'm thinking is that we have this orbital exchange interface. And, well, let's actually move this. I was thinking we're going to need more room out here, so I moved it off to the side. But I think it'd look a little bit better right about here. And then we can request some equipment. So I do have like the survival backpack, an oxygen tank. All this kind of basic stuff, but what I'm thinking is we head over to the workshop. We have 398 Ren to, to spend out here and 475 exotics. Now, I was thinking we get a better backpack. I don't know if we're going to have enough. This is going to cost 250 just to research and then another 100 to craft, which means it's going to cost 350 total. Now, is that going to be worth it? It gives us 25% extra shotgun ammo capacity, 25% reload speed of shotgun this is a shotgun backpack so i don't think that's worth it i think we're gonna have to go with the regular survival backpack because this gives us extra inventory slots and that's kind of what i want to do instead and we already have that so i say we request that and just because i've never used them before we do have this mass dampener module and that'll give us an extra 10 percent movement speed just for fun let's give it a shot 
I've, I've never used it before. I want to try it. So let's go ahead and craft it for 50. Go to our loadout. Bring that in. Bring the backpack in. And request both of those. Oh, and we are going to start taking damage from the storm. So let's get inside. And I accidentally requested the exotics retrieval pod. It's on, right on the other side of our workshop here. So that's got to get sent back first before we get the supplies we just requested. And it looks like they just kind of traded it out. And here comes that other pod. Let's go. Oh, that is right at the front door. Perfect. So let's grab both of those. And you can head out, little buddy. Or don't. Uh, not my problem, I guess. Now, I have no clue how to equip the... Wait, I don't know if I can equip this, can I? What I'm thinking is we may actually need a better suit. So I think upgrading our suit gives us a slot to put this in. Let me actually go and check that really quick. I've never used this. This is all brand new to me. I've never really used many upgraded suits. See, like this Enviro suit gives us plus one suit module slots. I think that's what we need. And we have enough Ren to craft and research it. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back into our loadout. And, oh no. Can we not request it? Maybe we can't do new suits since we've already dropped in. Um, let me see here. What are you doing at my front door, little guy? Well, okay, whatever. Can I send this one back? Oh, here we go. Just deliver it back, and then we'll go back up here. Let's see if we... Do you want in? Is that what you want? You can come in. Okay. So we have a new pet Komodo. His name is Frank. Um, I think he's going to hang out for a little bit. And since you're my new pet, probably not going to last very long, are you? Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, you hang out. I'm going to go back up here and see if I can now use that suit. No, I can't. Well, that's a bummer. Um, I might be doing something wrong. I might be able to equip that suit if I, you know, knew what I was doing, but I don't. So let me put the module in here and then put on this backpack instead. And I just remembered the leather backpack that we're wearing right now already gives us plus six inventory slots, but at least it gives us plus 5% movement speed and some falling resistance. So I guess there's that. Let me just destroy this. All right, buddy, you hang out here. I think I'm pretty good to go in terms of all my equipment. I'm gonna throw, I don't wanna make him mad. No, 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 no. Okay, as long as I don't make him mad, which he looks very mad right now. Here, let's get out of here. Okay, we've got another visitor. What is going on? Why are they trying to get into my base? Okay, this one I actually do have to set free from this mortal world. Sorry, Frank. I think that was your name. Um, and now this one's attacking my door. Probably because I didn't let him in time either. Well, all right. We're good to go. Um, I'm going to start heading out. I don't think I'm going to bring my horse with me. Uh, he's probably not going to survive it if I do. Plus, it'll just be so much faster if I run. It's going to be a long trip, but my movement speed is actually pretty dang fast. And if I have my bow, it's increased even more. So let's make like a tree and get out of here. It looks like I have stumbled upon the area where I need to be. How close are we? Okay, it's right across this huge lake up here, but man, this is a beautiful area. I kind of wish I put my cabin down over here. But either way, let's head over here. It looks like there's some massive waterfalls coming off this mountain. Okay, this is the we've made it. It's around here somewhere. Let's throw that down. Um, I just realized I, I, I don't have any arrows left. I have 24 total, and I really don't have a ton of ammo for this, so we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see how this all goes. All right, how do I start this thing up? Looks like the all right, ready. this should be fun. Let's just get our gun out right off the bat so we can minimize the damage to this thing as much as possible by killing whatever animals come our way as fast as possible. Now, there is a bear over there as well as a gator. Oh. This is our enemy, it looks like. This is the wolves. 
The nice thing about this area is the fact that we're surrounded by water, so everything has to swim to us, which means it's going to take them a little bit longer because they're slowed down by the water, so that's nice at least. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting a little bit bigger enemies, but still not much of a problem for the rifle that we have. Okay, I think that was probably, oh, we got a couple more, we got a bear, and a wolf, and dead. Okay, well, we only use like half of our ammo. <laughs> We're going to be cutting it close when it comes to our ammo for both our rifle and our uh, bow, but we got it done this time, so let's go ahead and pick it up. And then we're going to have to run to the next one here. So the downside is that we either have to go all the way up here or all the way down here. Now, I have no clue how to get to either region quickly. So this is going to be interesting. I guess I could go all the way back up north and cut through here. That's probably what I'm going to have to do. And since it took so long to get all the way over here, and we also had to wait out a storm a little bit, it's already getting dark. So I'm going to keep running. I'm going to try my best to get all the way to the snowy region over there. And, uh, I guess I'll see you in a second. All right, well, it is 5 o'clock in the morning. I am freezing cold. It's really dark, but I have finally this made it. So, you let's go ahead and put do. this thing down. Um, I don't know how well this one's going to go. Like I don't really have, like, a big rock or anything that we can stand on like I did last time. So, we'll see how this goes, especially since I'm getting pretty low on ammo. I had to take out a polar bear along the way, so I have even less than when I started the, the journey over here. So, yeah, I, I can't wait. Here's a polar bear to start. Oh, that's just a cub. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I mean, I feel bad for killing the cubs, but it's going to make it a lot easier than the actual full-grown polar bears. Oh my goodness, that's not a cub. There's a cub, but then there's the big guy right here. Oh, and I forgot to, I forgot to top off on all of my food and wine and beer. This is not good. Oh no, no, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I know I'm here. I'm just a little busy. Oh my gosh. Let me eat some food and run. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. I've got 11 arrows left. Oh, my stamina has been depleted. Come on, regenerate, regenerate and run. Oh my gosh. So, we've got some good news, some bad news, a little bit of an update. Good news is we're almost done with this mission. Oh, and some more good news is we've, we've got a little friend here. He really wanted to come into the base, into the workshop here. I don't know why, just like those Komodos wanted to. And so I decided to let him in. Now, I know I've got a horrible history with allowing all of my tamed animals to die. And I found a way around it. 
by just not taming this guy at all. So I'm going to keep him trapped in here. I mean, I'm, I'm going to let him live in here because he wants to live in here and he, did, he does not want to escape. And um, I'm going to keep doing what I need to do. Now, <laughs> the bad news is I died at one point when I was all the way in the Arctic region over here trying to fend off those polar bears. Um, that's okay, though, because I was able to run back and finish the mission really quick. All I had to do was start up the scanner one more time. And I think it was just one polar bear cub. So it wasn't that bad. So I, I finished that up and then I got the heck out of there. I came all the way back just to kind of recoup, get my health back up, get all my supplies replenished because I was completely out of pretty much all my arrows and almost all of my rifle rounds. I think I had four or five left, but now I've got a hundred rifle rounds. We've got a bunch of stone arrows. I'm probably going to get rid of them. They're just kind of a backup right now. But yeah, we're all kind of good to go there. Now, I wanted to take kind of a break from the operation here because one thing that I almost forgot about was the fact that I crafted this electric deep mining drill. Now, I had been talking about this for quite some time, and now I'm finally going to do it. Yeah, this actually might be a horrible decision because where I'm going right now is right underneath my base. It is right here. We've got an aluminum deposit right here, and I think we can use this right here. Yeah, we can. Now it's going to require 2,000 electricity, and I have a feeling that once we start it up, it's probably going to attract some more creatures, and I don't know where they're going to come from. And if it's those cave worms, we might be in trouble because I would assume they have nowhere to pop up except for somewhere in our base, and it might end up destroying some things. So I, I have to be careful with that. Now, again, it's, it's going to require 2,000 electricity. And I can't remember. I think the wind turbines generate about 750. Let me jump up here really quick and double check. I really got to figure out a better solution. Maybe a ladder or something. Yeah, especially since I'm struggling here. There we go. Okay. Oh, 1750. That's what it is. So I've got one here. And then I've got another two over there. Plus we've got the sun powering the solar panel so we might be okay if we just kind of connected them all right now right now i've got the electricity between the cabin and the workshop separated just because i didn't want to run out of electricity on one and then it affect the other but yeah i think we just combine them just for the sake of this little experiment here and just see how it goes hey buddy i don't think i'm gonna give him a name because i'm not technically taming him and that's it's for his own safety Let's grab our electricity tool here and let's run all the way back over and get this thing hooked up. Now, let's see. We've got water running here. Um, Yeah, we're going to have to run a wire. Oh, wait. You know what? I think I can just connect to here. I should be connected to my entire power grid. So we might not actually have to even connect to the wind turbine over here we might have enough power from all the sources we've got over at the workshop now i know this this wire going across is going to be super ugly i'm going to remove it all once this is all said and done i just want to try this bad boy out okay it's hooked up uh doesn't seem to actually be getting enough power so maybe i do have to you know what i'll go turn on that generator in the basement and then i should be good to go Oh, I can already hear it. It is running, I think. Oh, beautiful. So apparently this is going to mine out 25 aluminum or aluminum per minute, which to me is amazing. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, it doesn't seem... Sorry, it started getting loud. It sounded like something may have came from the ground, but I don't think anything did. But it doesn't seem like it's going to attract any animals. It's just going to be really loud. But let me double check. I'm going to try and find it here in the tech tree and see if that's the case. Okay, yeah. Just looking at it here doesn't say anything about it attracting any kind of creatures. So that's good. I think we could just let this run for quite a while. So anytime we need aluminum, we just come over here and we grab it. That is so good because aluminum is actually one of the materials that I was struggling the most to get, I think. Now, the big thing is, is we're going to have to eventually find more of those mineral deposits and then we can hook them up and start extracting kind of whenever we need. But for right now, I'm going to let it run for a while 
let me double check. This uh, biofuel generator has quite a bit of time. It's got four hours worth of power. So I say we let this run for a little while. Now, I guess it still is early. And well, the base needs a little bit of fixing up because we've been getting some storms. And on top of that, I can see the roof of this uh, post here is also taking a lot of damage. It seems like the storms might be getting more powerful. It seems like the base is taking a lot more damage lately. Oh no, the roof up here is not taking damage because I forgot it was reinforced glass, so that should be good to go. I wonder if it would look pretty cool if we made this entire wooden post, or I don't know, a tower, I don't know what you want to call it. But I wonder if, if we made it out of just straight glass, if that would look kind of cool. It's kind of tempting, but being able to see through into the workshop, I think might look a little weird. Uh, I think I worry about that a little bit later. And like I said, all we have left is one more little area to scan. And it is in a winter biome. So we are going to need some winter clothes, I think. I'm going to take off this leather armor. And I've got some in here that we can take. Let's go ahead and put all of this stuff on here. And there we go. We've got all the perks that we're going to need in order to, I guess, resist a little bit of the cold out in the winter biome. So let me put all this stuff in here quick. We've got a relatively full inventory. I just, I want to keep as much on me just in case at this point. We just run into so many different scenarios that I, I feel like I need a little bit of everything all the time. And I especially want a lot of this cooked prime meat because this is going to be really good for health and just really good perks in general. Now, looking at the map here, I believe we have to go all the way back down south, pretty much to where our center scanner spot was. And then instead of going straight down south, we'll take a right and head out southeast. I think there's an area to get through here that we can eventually make our way over into the biome and get to the scanner spot over here. So, yeah, I, th I think with that, we're going to take a little drink of wine, take a little drink of beer, and hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Well, hopefully this guy will come back eventually. At least he didn't quote unquote run away. Uh, but anyway, I <laughs> uh, offloaded all the extra stuff in my inventory, so I'm just going to run all the way out there. Hopefully we can get this last piece done for the operation, and we're going to be good to go, and we're going to get our rewards for that. And uh, we can continue working on our little workshop, or big workshop, and our cabin when we get back. Data says this is the area. Now it's up to you. Looks like the unit's ready. All right, here we go. The third and final scan. I'm not feeling super comfortable about this because we've got a massive scorpion right there. It might be kind of hard to see. And then, of course, a woolly mammoth right there. The mammoth I'm not too worried about because they're not hostile unless you attack them. But this scorpion is getting a little bit too close for comfort. Okay, just like that, we've got our first animal. It's just a wolf. And I'm hoping me shooting all these other animals isn't going to attract the scorpion. If it does, we're really in trouble. Okay, I think that's it. We got a couple more enemies and we got a snowstorm coming through. So let me uh, finish these guys off. Wolf and then another snow leopard. It's down. Oh my goodness, look at all the dead bodies here. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy. Okay, let me uh, pick this thing up really quick. And then I got to find some stone. And I've got enough stuff where I've been well, crafting uh, uh, enough stuff for a base. Or just a little one by one. And I gotta put a Too fire down so we can uh, warm ourselves up a little bit Makes for this storm. <laughs> okay, I've got some stability issues right now. I gotta put some beams down up here so that it can withstand the storm a little bit. A couple down. 
Okay, how's that? Okay, the wood is not completely cracked, so that's a good sign. So we're kind of anchored to the ground at this point. We just need to last as long as this storm does, and then we can get the heck out of here. So I'm going to wait this out. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. If not, I'll see you back at the base. Okay, so a little update. I almost completely forgot that I have to blow open a wall of the uh, side of the mountain in order to make that shortcut. I, for some reason, was thinking I was done with this operation, but I'm not. And now I'm freezing cold at f almost 5 in the morning. But I made my way down. And we have this supply crate here. And in this supply crate is a couple of unstable prototype explosives. So that's cool. Oh. Experimental explosives. Be careful. Last batch from G15 were energetic. Um, recovery team found Prospector 496 in three separate biomes. Oh, that's really good to know. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm just not going to know when this thing's going to blow up once I put it down. So I'm going to have to be super careful. But I'm going to try and wait out this uh, night time. Got a couple hours before the light starts coming out. And I think once that does, it's going to get a little bit warmer. So it's not so miserable out here. And we'll have a little bit of light so we can see out there. And uh, once we get that light, we're going to blow open the side of the mountain. Okay. I have finally made it. Got the explosives on me. What do I do? Okay. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Deploy. Place. Bad okay. news from the UDA. As powerful as these explosives are, we need one on the other side to clear the blockage. Up no. For a scenic hike? A no. One. Wait. Travel to the other side of the cave and find a way around. Wait a minute. Do I really have to run all the way around? If so, that means I either have to go all the way through this snow biome, through the forest biome, back up to this snow biome, and then circle all the way back down here, or basically do the same thing except through the entrance over in this area and come back around. Unless he's telling me I, I can build over the mountain, which would be nice if I had some materials to actually do that, but I don't. What I'm also wondering is if we get up on this ledge up here, is there maybe a way to drop in? That we have enough materials for, I think. So we've got five ramps right now. But the nice thing about the building in Icarus is that we can place a few down. Uh, try not to fall. And then pick up the ones behind us. So long as we're anchored up against this mountain, we should be okay. So let's keep moving along here. Give this a shot. Okay, I'm going to jump up here now, grab that, and try not to slide down. If I slide down, I'm definitely dead. Let's put this down. Got a little ramp up here. I'm going to have to use the same technique all the way back down as well. Please tell me there's something up here. I don't believe that there is. Unless there's a little spot right up here, which I highly doubt at this point. I don't I don't have a whole lot of faith right now. Oh, <gasps> hold on. Is that a hole into the cave? No, of course it's not. Oh, I've been fooled. I thought maybe we were going to be able to drop down. I don't think that we can. Oh, shoot. Okay. You know what? Maybe I do exactly what I just did to get up onto this ledge. And we do it all the way over top here. It's going to take me absolutely forever, but probably a lot less time than it would if I had run all the way around. So screw it. Let's go ahead and just give this a shot. Wish me luck. Oh, 
Okay. So I'm so high up on this mountain that we can't even see down to the ground. And we are at the very top. And you can see that the biome change is right here. So I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to try not to fall off the edge up here. I just need to get a better view of what's going on. And it turns out you can't see much from up here either. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to build down somehow. I have no clue how. Um... Doesn't seem like it's wanting to really attach to anything over here, which is not a good sign. I'm clearly not supposed to be up here, but I'm not going all the way around. Okay, so nothing went as planned. I fell unconscious several times, and that's my story. And um, yeah, I had to build back up, get my things all the way up there, and then build back down, and it took absolutely forever. But I have everything back. We're at the right location. I sure, sure hope we are. If we're not, I'm gonna go crazy. I, it, it doesn't seem, oh, okay. I've never been so happy to hear that noise. Okay, so I should have that last explosive here. Place that there. All right, what do I do, man on the radio? Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. That really gave me no time to run. I didn't even get to turn around and see it. But, hey... We did it. So I guess it, we can go all the way through. And yeah, there's the snow biome right over there. And we've got a bunch of ores in here as well. Uh, looks like there's an alternate route over this way. But I don't really have any inventory space right now. I, <laughs> I kept a lot of the building materials on me because I had to do a lot of building up and down. But <sighs> we're done. We're finally done with the mission. The mission is complete. So the last step I have to do is just run home. Which... There are so many animals out here. Sorry, uh, which means we have to go all the way back down here. Well, I guess we have two routes we can take now. I say we just run through the sandy area and then we can loop back into uh, our cabin there. So I'm going to run back. This was... I know I didn't show really much of it, but I'm telling you this was an absolute trek. An absolute challenge. The amount of times that... I struggled even just to get over to this area, and then I had to get back up there. Just trust me. I, I don't want you to ever have to go through that. But anyway, let's let's just go home. I just want to go home. Well, all right. I have finally made it back. I feel absolutely exhausted. It looks like some storms have come through, kind of destroyed the bridge and even part of the cabin, but nothing we can't repair. I'm going to run over to the workshop here and see if we can unload a little bit. Yeah, workshop took a little bit of damage too. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to fix that up. Otherwise, uh, some rodents might get in there and make their homes there. Oh, but I think one of the first things I need to do is grab some titanium. One of the two that I have left. Uh, no, I've got 11 in here, so that's good. And then I'm just going to fix my rifle right away, which I think I have to do over here. Okay, there we go. Now we can actually make use of that thing again. And then I'm going to unload everything else. And then I did shut off the aluminum extractor over there at one point when it was about halfway done. And we got quite a bit, so I'll check that out here in a second too. All right, we've got our inventory sorted out. So let's go check out our little aluminum extractor over here. And see how that's doing. Yeah, so we got 180 total aluminum ore. And I think the fuel in the generator is about halfway gone. So that's actually not bad at all. We actually need to smelt up a bunch. And then I want to keep a bunch of raw aluminum as well. Because uh, we need that for crafting too. So let's throw... Well, let's see how much aluminum we have. Zero in here. Twelve in here. Yeah, so we don't have a ton. I'm just going to throw 80 in there. 
start that up, let that get going, and then I'm going to throw the rest, the 100 in here. So we have 150 total aluminum ore in here. And so we can use that for crafting up some things too if we ever want to in the future. All right, now that we are home, we're safe. Wait, hold on a second. I just realized I have this massive scanner device on my back and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Do I bring this somewhere? I, I can't even put it on the ground because it needs to snap to a location, so let's actually just throw this in storage for now, I guess. Maybe we'll be able to use it in the future. I'm not sure. Either way, what I was going to do is I wanted to go check on my plants over here, see how they're doing. In theory, none of them should have withered, and it doesn't look like it. Oh. We need to upgrade this to stone or concrete. I think we do concrete. That might look good. Uh, but anyway, yep, everything is looking good. Got some Kamara. We've got our rhubarb. We've got all of this corn as well. Um, I think I'm going to rotate some of these crops. I wonder. Oh, oh my goodness. Our reinforced. Wait a minute. I thought I replaced all of these walls with reinforced, but apparently I forgot some of them. Oh, this whole back row is just the regular plus this one and this one and this one. Wow. Okay, so we still need to replace six of these glass walls with reinforced glass walls. I did not realize that. If we don't replace these, they're, we're, we're going to spend a ton of time just repairing these things after every single storm. Um, but what I was thinking is that we rotate the crops a little bit, but I don't know if we have any extra crops to rotate. Let's check the ice boxes. Um, nothing in here. Wait, no, I wouldn't have kept them in the ice boxes. We need the seeds. Aha, we do have some watermelon seeds and then corn, rhubarb, and kamara. I guess we're just going to put some of the watermelon back in and probably... The rhubarb and the Kamara. And there we go. Now, eventually, we're going to fill up this whole thing. I know that's my grand plans, but I also got to put the reinforced glass walls on there, too. We've got some work to do, um, but it's not impossible. It's just going to take a little while. And of course, we have a storm coming through because uh, why not? I just fixed everything up. Why wouldn't we have something come through and destroy it all again? Let's head over here. Let's see what we've got in terms of glass. I don't think it, it it's none. It's pretty much nothing at all, it looks like. We've got 39 total glass. That's not going to be nearly enough for anything that we need. And I'm just realizing that our water source is connected, but not working. Is that the case for everything? It looks like it is. Now, I don't know why that would be the case. I don't remember changing anything with the water. And <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun to troubleshoot, too. As you can tell, I've got a lot of piping going through here. Hold on a second. Do we not have power going from these generators? It has no power. Oh no, why? Did our water wheel stop? Oh, it looks like it did. It probably got clogged up. Yeah, that's a problem. Now I wonder if we potentially lost our fish too, because I think that's all connected too. There it goes. Now we should have water. Get away from me, wolf. Okay, well, let's go check on our fish here. We've got nothing better to do. All right, come on, you guys still lot. Hmm. Yeah, because we lost water, we lost power. Because we lost both water and power, they apparently died again. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I am struggling with any kind of living creatures. This is a disaster. All right, so... I'm going to go to sleep for the night so we can get some daylight because I want to go kind of on a little scavenging trip. I have some plans to kind of spruce up the cabin on the lake here and um, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that turns out. But for now, I'm going to go to sleep and uh, we'll go on the hunt tomorrow morning.
All right, so I've just finished my morning hunt, our little scavenge, and this is what I ended up doing. I went and got as much seeds as I possibly could. I, I pretty much grabbed anything and everything, and the reason for this is because if we check out the workbench here, we have a bunch of wood crop plots, and I want to take these out and maybe try and use them to decorate a little bit. Now, I don't know how they're going to look, and maybe I'll just kind of focus them over on the cabin, but... Would it look okay if I put them kind of right on the sides here? And maybe put, oh, I don't know, something like some berries there? Put one there. Put one there. And we'll see, once those are fully grown, we'll see how that looks. And if we like it, we'll keep it. If not, we'll, uh, we'll just get rid of it and put something else in. And the nice thing about this is we have the perk that makes sure that any plants that we crop will not wither. So they'll stay there forever. They don't need to be watered. They don't need to be taken care of in any way. They just need to be left alone and they're gonna be fine. And uh, they're gonna just add a little flair to the workshop, I guess, and the cabin here in a second. I just don't know where I'm gonna put it. We built out so much on this little island here that I don't really have room for anything else. Let's see here. We actually might... Oh, hold on. I think we've got a little damage here we need to take care of. But I was going to say, it actually might be okay if we put some plots, like, right in front of this window, maybe. And then... Let's do... Two of the... What are they called again? The gorse tea seeds. And they're going to go right up to the edge of the windows. And we'll see how that looks. The nice thing about these is we can just kind of walk right over them. They're not going to get in our way. So that's kind of nice. Let's grab a couple more. And I say we put one down on either side of the door here. And then just because I want to experiment a little bit, I say we try out maybe some wheat. No, I don't think that would look very good. Let's do something else. Let's try putting down a cocoa seed. Now, do we do it on both sides, or maybe do we mix it up a little bit? Yeah, say we mix it up a little bit and put a coffee seed on this side. And we'll see how that goes. Maybe we end up wrapping crop plots all the way around here. So it kind of fills in this whole area. I think that would be pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe it'll make it too packed because there's not a ton of space to move through here. But I guess we'll find out here pretty soon once these are fully grown. And now let's actually look up here and see if we maybe have a spot for some crops. Yeah, I think we would. Maybe one in the corner. I say like a tall one in the corner would look nice. Uh, let's see what we got here. We could do the soybean coffee or the cocoa. You know, what, let's throw the tea plant down. I think that would look kind of nice when it's fully grown. And then I think for now, that's going to be the only one that we plant up here. We might end up rearranging all of this at some point. But for now, let's just see what that looks like when it grows up and uh, go from there. And then while we wait for all these plants to grow, it actually doesn't look like it's going to take too long. Yeah, it's already a quarter of the way through. Uh, but let's see if we've got enough to mix up some concrete. I want to upgrade these stairs and the just the entrance to our greenhouse out there. So I think we actually might have enough. Let's see here. And just like that, we've got just the floor and a ramp. So let's run over there and do a little upgrade. I think that'll help kind of clean things up over there. And getting rid of that wood on the outside is going to, again, it's just, that's just one less thing to repair in the future. So let's select concrete, upgrade that, and upgrade that. Okay, that already looks a little bit better. Maybe we put some walls down. Kind of, uh, I don't know. I kind of like it. It's like a little bridge. I think I might keep it. And then we might swap out the railings at some point too. And then I say we keep the stone flooring in here. I kind of like the, the texture of that and how that looks. And I just noticed on our way back, our berry bushes are fully grown. And I kind of like it. It adds that green and red to the to the front of the workshop. It kind of makes it pop a little bit. We might end up moving these things like the fire pit and the uh, drying rack and almost even considering moving the forge over here just so that we can add some more greenery on the outside. Because I really like how that turned out. But for now, I wonder if these are actually going to be fully grown here in a second. 
You can see how these look. How's this one looking? It's not done yet. It's about halfway. Same thing with these. Okay. Let me wait a minute and see how it looks in a second. And while I was kind of waiting for these to grow, I noticed that we had 20 stone floors. That should be more than enough to finish off this bridge. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. There we go. Again, we have all these wood railings. I think I'm going to leave them for now. We'll have to upgrade them later. Maybe something a little bit cleaner than what we've got. They're just kind of expensive to upgrade. But now we don't really have to worry about the weather damaging any of the, the bridges that we've got anymore. Because they've all been upgraded to stone. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right. It looks like everything is fully grown. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay. Not looking too bad so far. I mean, they're okay. I might swap them out for something different. Like the gorse flower. I wonder if we wrap the gorse flower all the way around. I think that would actually look really nice. I think I might do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, I've planted, watered, and fertilized all of the gorse flowers out front. So that's going to help speed up the growing process here. And I think it's going to end up looking really good. I guess we'll find out here in a second. I'm going to wait it out. It actually might be a little dark by the time it finishes, but that's okay. I think we'll still be able to see them, and I think it'll look okay. But I'm going to wait it out and um, see you in a second. Alright, looks like everything is grown up, and oh, I really like how it looks. I like that it's kind of lining the base here. I'm, okay, actually, I should probably get inside here for a second. <laughs> We're taking some damage from the storm here. So let me bring the storm exposure down. It's just on the tail end, but it's just standing outside while the, the crops were growing here. And okay, this is good enough. Let's go back out there. Let's see how it looks. I don't really have a higher point of view. I can jump on the railing here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I might end up either moving the fishing bench or maybe just putting one more plot over on the right edge just so we can put in another uh, gorse flower uh, plot. But overall, it's not looking too bad. I, it's such a small thing it actually makes a huge difference. Just adding that yellow and green to the gray and brown cabin. And I think it looks really good. I really gotta figure out a solution for all that. I think I have an idea. I think we can kind of put like a half stair or half ceiling, I don't know what they're called. If we put them on the edge, I think that'll kind of protect it. But the thing about that is that I just, I think that would probably not look very good. I wonder if we've got anything. Um, it might be the glass half pieces, I'm not sure. Yeah, so the, the half ramp left and right, I believe if we put them over top on the edge here, it should protect the wood below it, but I might be wrong. Something like that, but I don't know if I love how that looks. That's kind of a little bit much. I think I'm going to take it down for now, if I can reach it. Well, uh, let's go up top. But yeah, I think I'm going to take it down for now and just kind of bear through the uh, repairs for the time being until we maybe find a better solution. But, all right, let's jump in here. Let's close that up for the night. You know what? I know we just kind of renovated downstairs and it looks really nice and I, I do like it down there. It's a nice night. It's a nice calm view of the lake. I say we uh, just have a seat by the fire out here and just enjoy ourselves for the rest of the night. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the plant out here too. That looks kind of nice. <laughs> but, 
All right. I think I'm going to call it here. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I, I seriously appreciate it. And if you did make it this far, I can only assume that you were enjoying the content. So if you do want to subscribe, like the video, there's going to be a ton more just like this in the future. But anyway, really do hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Later. <laughs>